Hello beautiful internet family, Dan here from danstube.tv and today I've got an epic comparison between the Mavic Air 2 and the newly released Air 2S from DJI. If you're new around these parts, then you can expect brutally honest tech reviews on the channel. And I've made it my mission around here to empower tech enthusiasts to unlock their creative potential with technology. And today with this comparison, I really wanna help you guys make the right decision, an informed decision about which drone to get, whether it's the Air 2, whether it's the Air 2S, or whether you need to upgrade from the Air 2 to the Air 2S, or another drone to the Air 2S. That's the whole idea of this video, to help you make that informed decision. The Air 2S is an epic drone, but do you need to upgrade if you've already got the Air 2? Now before we jump into this video, I have a massive 10% off discount code for all of my viewers. You can save 10% off all of your drone, camera, and accessory purchases. So you can literally get 10% off the Air 2S. Now, that's massive. This thing is worth a lot of money. 10% is quite a sizable chunk. So how you redeem that code is you go to the d1store.com.au and you use the code MMAFB, and that will save you 10% off all of your purchases. The most obvious upgrade is the camera. Now, on the Mavic Air 2, which I sold recently, so I don't have it physically here with me, it had a half-inch sensor. Still a fantastic sensor, the camera is great, and the drone overall is fantastic. It's really a solid all-round drone, the Mavic Air 2. Just imagine I'm holding a Mavic Air 2 here. And then the Air 2S has a massive one-inch sensor, which we saw on the Mavic 2 Pro. So that's a big jump. That means that the camera can actually allow more light to pass through the sensor. So that's massive, you know, it means that it will perform a lot better in all different lighting conditions and you do notice a difference. You know, the fact that it's a one inch sensor compared to a half inch sensor makes a big, big difference. And the other thing is now you can shoot 5.4K instead of 4K on the Mavic Air 2. So that 5.4K is just beautiful, it looks amazing. And the fact that also, like I said, the one inch sensor allows more light in, means that in all different lighting conditions, even lower light conditions, even when it's overcast outside, it will still perform phenomenally well. So that is a really clear winner in my eyes. The Air 2S is quite a big upgrade, even though it's just an S, it's just a small iteration, it's not the Mavic Air 3, it still is a big jump. Another big difference between the Air 2 and the Air 2S is its maximum video bitrate. So when we're looking at the Air 2, it had a maximum bitrate of 120 megabits per second. Pretty decent and not something to laugh at. It's, you know, extremely capable of capturing beautiful video, but they've increased it on the Air 2S to 150 megabits per second. So that's actually quite a sizable jump and it does make a big difference. Another big change between the two drones is that the Air 2 could capture 8-bit video, where the Air 2S can actually capture 10-bit video, but it has options for D-Log or HLG formats. So that means that you're having a lot more control over the colors. For people out there that want to color grade, the Air 2S is actually quite a big leap over the Air 2. The next difference, which is a clear visual difference, is the bug eyes that you can see on top here. I mentioned this a lot in my review, but they really do look like bug eyes. What they are is additional obstacle avoidance sensors that actually point up. So we didn't have this on the Air 2. That just means that this is a safer drone. It means that it can avoid more obstacles, it's more advanced, and it's a lot better at bypassing things in its environment. I don't really rely on this much, but if you, for example, wanna track yourself on a mountain bike or running through an area where there's a lot of stuff going on, that additional obstacle avoidance sensor facing up or obstacle avoidance sensors, because there's two of them facing up, will actually make a big difference because it will be able to bypass underneath branches and still track you, where the Air 2 would probably hit into that branch. So yeah, not for everyone, but still a nice addition for the Air 2S. A brand new feature that is only available on the Air 2S is called Master Shots. Now when I heard about this and when I looked into it, I thought, that's a bit of a gimmick. I don't think I'm gonna care about that too much. I was wrong. It's actually phenomenal. It's a really useful feature that's great for beginner pilots and advanced pilots. And the whole concept of it is, you draw around a subject, something you wanna track, something you wanna focus on, and then you press start. You have a few options that you can tweak, 
but then it creates a dynamic video with all different movements and shots that you can then use on your video projects. It actually works phenomenally well. Uh, one thing as well is you can shoot in 4K. When I did my original video, I only showcased the 1080p, but I can confirm you can shoot 4K master shots and it does create a dynamic viewing angle. There's some unique shots that would be really hard to capture as the pilot yourself. Like there's a shot where it does a circle, it kind of, I guess, pans around in a circle formation, but it's zooming as it's panning. So it's getting multiple movements. That would be almost impossible to capture as a pilot. You'd almost need someone, you know, over your shoulder zooming in as well. That would be quite challenging, I'm sure. But some of the movements are really cool. And then it strings together some of the other popular movements from the quick shot modes, like the rocket mode. You have all those different circle movements. You have like the upward tilt gimbal. All those different movements are fantastic. And then you can use it on your video projects. It's actually, like I said, a useful feature that a lot of people will love. The next big change comes down to the transmission and the technology that they've built into the controller and the drone. Now. Amazingly enough, it's the exact same controller in terms of its aesthetics, the way it looks, it is identical. But the original Mavic Air 2 had OcuSync 2.0, where the Air 2S has OcuSync 3.0. And what that means is that the range increases from 10 kilometers on the Air 2 to 12 kilometers on the Air 2S. So you're actually getting an improvement, you're getting a bump up with the Air 2S, even though it looks the same on paper, you look at the controller, you're like, there's no difference. It actually is quite a sizable difference. And you've got more advanced OcuSync technology built in to the Air 2S. When it comes to battery life, I was actually quite surprised by this. The Air 2S has a quoted battery life of 31 minutes, where the Mavic Air 2 has a quoted battery life of 34 minutes. So on paper, the Air 2 actually has the advantage here. And you've also got to think that the Air 2S is trying to power a larger camera and also additional sensors on the top there. So you would think that the Air 2 would have the edge here, but from the test I had done, it's pretty much the same. Like they're both very, very similar. At the end of the day, you're not getting those 30 minutes at all, especially in most conditions. You're probably getting about 20 to 25 minutes with an average battery flight. So they're both pretty much the same when it comes to battery life. A new feature that is exclusive to the Air 2S over the Air 2 is it can now utilize digital zoom. Now I've done a test on my channel and it's really not fantastic. Like I would only ever use the digital zoom to kind of scout out an area and see what's happening over there. But when you zoom, you are losing significant quality in the video. So I think even though it's a new feature and it sounds awesome on paper, it really isn't a deciding factor. It's more so, like I said before, to scout out an area or to see what's going on somewhere instead of flying over there. But besides that, the digital zoom is not that impressive and definitely not a reason to buy the Air 2S over the Air 2. <laughs> the final difference is the price. Now, I will have links in the description below to check out the Mavic Air 2 and the Air 2S on both DJI's website and through the Amazon listings. And, you know, you are getting a big jump here when it comes to the Air 2S, so it makes sense why it's a more expensive drone. You're getting that increased range, you're getting that larger one-inch sensor, you're getting two additional upward facing obstacle avoidance sensors. You're getting a few new features on the drone. And overall, it actually is quite a nice upgrade. It's not a small upgrade like I thought it would be. It's actually a sizable upgrade and almost could be called the Mavic Air 3. And I think if you've already got the Air 2, I would not get this. You know, it's the Air 2 is still a phenomenal drone and those upgrades I'm talking about are great, but it's probably not worth getting the Air 2S unless you really want something, sell your Air 2 and get yourself the Air 2S. But I think for other owners, you know, people who've got the Mavic Pro or the Spark or maybe the original Air or even a Phantom, the Air 2S is like, the pinnacle right now, it's it's almost on par with the Mavic 2 Pro, which is their like prosumer drone outside of their Inspire and Phantom range. So I think this is a really awesome drone that anyone would love. So it really depends what situation you're in. It's definitely worth the upgrade if you've got one of the earlier drones, but if you've got the Air 2, probably hold out and wait for that Mavic 3 Pro that will probably be coming out at the end of 2021. Anyway, I'd love your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to have a fantastic day and peace out. Thank you.